I'm just checking with Brett Devine. What's the address of the ATC? Where do they have to send the check? Allison Road, Randwick, ATC, 44,000 on its way. Just speaking to Brett Devine, that check for 44,000, the ATC, Allison Road, Randwick. Yeah, great. I thought they might do me a favour and sort of let that one go, but can I get credit? We didn't talk about it. We didn't talk about that. They might let it go, but you probably have to pay it now. Yeah, look, yeah. Um, it's, as I just said before, it's a, it's a big carrot dangling there next Saturday, and historically in the last few years, this, this race has been a great guide to the derby, and he's bred to run close to a mile and a half. Um, I thought he ran out a really solid 2,000 there on a day where the track might have been sort of probably favouring on pace a bit thus far. So, yeah, he's done a great job, and... Looking forward to hopefully having a good week and front up next week. And those that didn't hear last week, you didn't think this horse was going to make a stay up? No, the guy completely balls it up. Um, I sort of had him pegged as a 14 miler type early on. I sent him to the Gold Coast for a, a maiden up there and I said to the owners, look, it's a $250,000 maiden. We, I don't know that this bloke's ever going to run for 250 again. So, And he ran terrific up there. But since he's come back, and I think that trip away actually did do him some good, and now that obviously we've stepped his distances up, he's just, you know, he's just relished it and made me look like an idiot. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, he won't be an idiot if he wins the derby <laughs> because you've, uh, you've, you've got a mulligan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, but there won't be a fitter horse in the race, will there? I mean, he's had so many runs this prep. Yeah, I was just saying to Michael Wallace, you know, who represents one of the main owners in this horse, that I am mindful that he has been up a while. Um, he's not showing any signs of feeling the pinch just yet, um, but it takes a good tough horse to do what he's done. Good luck in seven days. Yeah, thank you. Congratulations, Tommy. That was another nice, tough, gritty win. Yeah, it was. And on a day where I was a bit worried it was going to be too hard to find make up ground today, and I said to Michael, I wouldn't want to be spotting him too too much ground. But he got into a spot and he was on the chewy, so I just had to forget about the race and concentrate on, on getting him to switch off. And he eventually did that. And um, he just surprised me again how quick he picked him up and put him away. And, he sort of got there and wandered around a bit, but always felt like I had the race in control and um, exciting times ahead, Corey. Were they always stretched the whole race? Yeah, it felt like it. And just as the speed started to come out a bit, Tom Marquand went forward and put on the speed again. So it was a true, gen true genuine staying test. And I heard Greg ask Michael before, like, he's had a heap of runs, how's it going to affect him? But I'll tell you what, I think he needs more work because he was still pretty, pretty well on the Chewy going around. Well, even in the enclosure, it looked like he'd really come on from his last win. <laughs> he has, and his work on Tuesday morning suggested that, so it's always nice to see him go and back that up. But he's a very hard horse to pull up. He just wants to keep going, and even on the way back in, he pulled me the whole way back to scale. So, um, <laughs> no more. Well done. <laughs>